Actor and comedian James Eugene Carey was born on January 17, 1962 in Newmarket, Ontario, Canada. Carey got his start with a spot doing stand-up at a Toronto comedy club when he was just 15 years old. By 1979, he had left the factory job as a janitor he had taken in 1978 to help support his family and was making his living as the opening act for successful comics, Buddy Hackett and Rodney Dangerfield. In 1983, Carey headed west to Hollywood where he starred in a made-for-television movie called Introducing Janet. Carey's appearances on TV and programs such as The Duck Factory and Jim Carey's Unnatural Act led to a regular role on the hit comedy In Living Color. Carey's big screen debut came with 1984's Finders Keepers, but he didn't find success until he played the title role in the 1994 comedy Ace Ventura, Pet Detective. From there, Carey's expressive face, expert mimicry skills, and physical brand of comedy kept the hits coming. He followed with The Mask, Dumb and Dumber, Ace Ventura, When Nature Calls, Batman Forever, The Cable Guy, and Liar Liar. Carey took a successful dramatic turn as Truman Burbank in Peter Weir's The Truman Show, for which he won a Golden Globe Award for Best Actor. He then teamed up with legendary director Malice Foreman for the Andy Kaufman biopic Man on the Moon, co-starring Courtney Love. For his dead-on portrayal of Kaufman, Carey took home his second Golden Globe. Despite his Golden Globe success, he didn't earn a nomination for an Academy Award. Still, he became one of the highest-paid actors in Hollywood, with a reported asking price of $20 million. In the summer of 2000, Carey portrayed a character with two dueling personalities, both in love with the same woman in the comedy Me, Myself, and Irene. That fall, wearing pounds of green fur and makeup, he starred as the titular curmudgeon in the long-awaited big-budget film version of Dr. Seuss holiday classic, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, directed by Ron Howard. In 2003, the actor starred as a man endowed with godlike powers in Bruce Almighty, with Jennifer Aniston. The following year, Carey starred opposite Kate Winslet in Charlie Kaufman's Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Carey continued to take on a variety of comedic roles, starring in such films as Fun with Dick and Jane, A Christmas Carol, and Mr. Popper's Penguins. He also enjoyed supporting parts in the incredible Burt Wonderstone, with Steve Carell in Kick-Ass 2. In 2014, Carey routined with Jeff Daniels for Dumb and Dumber 2. In 2018, Carey made his way onto the small screen in the Showtime comedy series Kidding, a story about a celebrated children's TV host named Jeff, Mr. Pickles, whose family life begins to unravel much faster than he's able to handle. Prior to kidding, Carrie was working behind the scenes on Showtime as an executive producer on the Dramedy, I'm Dying Up Here. Following a three-plus year break from the big screen, Carrie returned in early 2020 to play the evil Dr. Robotnik in an adaptation of the popular 1990s video game Sonic the Hedgehog. While his career as a big screen star waned, Carrie began pursuing his painting hobby in earnest. In 2017, he released a six-minute documentary, I Need a Color, in which he explained his passion for art and showed off his completed works. In 2018, Carey came under fire for tweeting an unflattering portrait of someone who resembled White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders with the caption, This is the portrait of a so-called Christian whose only purpose in life is to lie for the wicked. Monstrous. A spokesperson confirmed that the piece was rendered by Carey, but did not confirm whether or not Sanders was the subject. Carey has a daughter, Jane, from his marriage to Melissa Warmer from 1987 to 1995. He was married briefly to Dumb and Dumber co-star Lauren Holly before entering a year-long romance with his me, myself, and Irene leading lady Renée Zellweger. He was later involved with actress-slash-model Jenny McCarthy. In 2015, Carey's girlfriend, Kathriona White, died from a drug overdose and what was ruled a suicide. Both White's estranged husband and mother sued Carey for wrongful death, but the charges were eventually dismissed. If you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe.